<laughs> Hello. I've been asked by uh, by some folks that I chat to uh, online on a regular basis to make the following vlog. Uh, but it has graphic content because uh, I am preparing a chicken for the table. So uh, if this is not something you'd like to see, uh, please switch off now and, uh, and come back and see my next vlog tomorrow. Or go back and have a look at, uh, at some from a previous date. But this might not be for you if you don't want to watch uh, a chicken being prepared for the table. So it's a graphic content warning. It's my third, third message here. <laughs> if you don't want to see a chicken being prepared for the table, uh, please switch off now. This video came about because I put a picture on the poultry page uh, of a chicken that I dressed this morning. It was a silver lace flying dot boy and, uh, and he dressed out at five pounds, two ounces, and he will be, uh, he will be at our lunch tomorrow. And uh, a few people said, oh, could you make an instructional video? Well, I know there are tons of them. Uh, there are tons of them online. And so I'm going to add my Tutney Worth as well. I hope you're going to find it helpful. Okay, so I sliced that way and I've removed the um, I've removed that oil gland that's there. Now I don't worry I don't worry about these tail feathers. I use that I leave them and then I can use them to move her around with as I'm as I'm trying to uh, process her. Now normally I would only process a bird uh, first thing in the morning uh, so that all their pipework and the internal pipework is empty um, but it's not it's now what or are we? it's three o'clock in the afternoon so this girl has been eating uh, all day and so she's gonna have very full in insides um, and the first thing I do is to make a little tear just here oh she's a fatty girl look at her look at all the fat cut the esophagus and feel between bones and her neck and And then if you put your hand in and gently and that <laughs> that's why you don't want to be doing it with a full a full crop because it makes separating the crop out much harder and you want to do that and when this is empty it's actually a very easy job and to make it easy for me at the other end I don't normally do this, but I'm actually just going to empty the crop. And that stops the, uh, and that will help stop the uh, meat getting tainted as well.
also first thing in the morning so first thing in the morning when you've loosened the crop like this it, you will just have this empty sack um, which makes life a lot easier okay there you go so that's that's loosened things at that end and I'm just going to separate this out there's a little membrane there I like to so then that's their windpipe and then at this end um, Okay, so the next thing I do, and obviously, you know, people do it slightly differently, but the next thing I do is pinch a bit of skin here and cut horizontally. Now you're not, you don't want to pierce in because you don't want to pierce their guts. So a horizontal cut across and then, and I kind of, with this finger, I'm holding uh, the bottom of the breastbone there so I've got a little bit of leverage to tear down and then you've got a membrane here and likewise you need to to get through that membrane but you don't want to cut deep so little hole finger in take the membrane Ooh, take the membrane now this <laughs> this yellow is fat it's uh she is a fat girl without a shadow of a doubt oh, and she's a tough old girl as well tough old bird she is uh, so yeah that is that's chicken fat right Now normally I would just get my hands in and I would tear down but the fat is actually kind of stopping me from doing that. So I'm going to remove some of this fat and this girl has very obviously been corn fed because look at the colour of that fat. Deary me. And I'm, I'm literally just, I don't normally have to cut so much. Um, I'm doing that because she's so full of fat. Now here's the horrid bit you need to have made sure your hands are clean and I'm just gonna do a quick rinse again so I'm kind of holding holding the legs you need to just hold it so it doesn't it doesn't all slip off the edge but your hands gonna go that's the bone so your hand goes in underneath the bone and if you just work your hand around gently Let's move that out of the way so you can see so hand in underneath that bone working your hand around gently to loosen the insides and basically what you want to do is you want to get all of that to come out so You pull gently it needs to be firm enough that it can come out now I have this yellow is yolk from um, is yolk from eggs so you've got all the eggs that are being made Right. Now the next thing you need to do is if you push all the 
innards to one side, you'll feel her pelvic bone. Uh, let's see if I can, I can't show it to you, but it's here. It's hard pelvic bone, and you want to take your knife and cut down the side of that pelvic bone. Okay, and then take all the innards and tip them over in the other direction and feel the bone again and cut down the side of that bone and what you're trying to do is not you don't want to damage any of the intestines I actually don't want that flapper skin so I'm going to get rid of it. So you've gone down the side and then the all important bit is you just need to go around the, around the bottom. And then all her workings will just come away and because I don't like this bit I actually remove the whole of that now what you've got left in here is all of her egg reproduction system and then if you reach back in and put your hand a bit further down you can pull out <coughs> a heart and And the lungs, of which there are two, obviously. And they sort of sit on the inside. Uh, they're sitting on the, sitting there, effectively. So they're sitting there. So you need to kind of run your fingers along, the, in line with the rib cage, and, and pull out the lungs. get the last of her reproductive bits and then there's the windpipe now I haven't got everything yet because the her crop is still there so there we go and that's why I emptied it because you're pulling the crop through through the body um, and I didn't want to do that with all the all that food in it And then all her intestines and everything. My last job now is to take off these few extra feathers that are here. Give her a good rinse in the cavity just to make sure there's nothing, no loose material in there and 
and then <clears throat> and then to remove the feet I find the bend cut around the skin one find the bend cut around the skin okay and then bend back the opposite way and that will give you there's a tendon just here which you need to cut and once you've cut that tendon uh, it comes away much more easily okay so quick wash quick rinse So I will then plunge her into um, a bucket with ice cold water in it and I save my, you know, those um, ice packs that you can put in picnic boxes. I always have a couple of those in the freezer on the go um, so that I can add, to them to, add them to some water. I still haven't got all that stuff out. I haven't got all of her uh, reproductive bits out yet, so excuse me. That's better. Now I'm happier. Okay, and then this piece of skin, and then this piece of skin, a small cut. So it's just big enough to pop my finger through it at the moment. And then one leg goes through that hole there and then the other leg hopefully <laughs> hopefully the other leg will as well i've got to say with the boys this is much easier because they've just got much longer legs and that just holds her leg in place and then the wings you can tuck in under the leg if you've got boys with very big legs that becomes very easy if you've got girls no oh, it doesn't want to stay uh, so there we go uh, I'm now going to put that into um, ice cold water leave it in there for about oh, five minutes absolutely cool the whole whole thing down it's not pretty it's not glamorous I'm not very good at doing it but um here we go <laughs> <laughs>